Hey guys, Sophia here with turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2022 IFBB Pro League DC Pro Bikini results. Oh my gosh, this was a really beautiful top five. Look at how gorgeous these women are and you're going to recognize a lot of these girls too. And as a reminder, it was a busy weekend. I've got four more recaps still coming your way, so make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss those. Okay, so in terms of Olympia 2022, this is a tier four contest. So the winner qualifies for Olympia. The second through fifth place winners receive the points at the bottom. And at the end of the qualification period, the top three all get to go to Olympia as well. So narrowing down on the top five. In first place, Ellie. Second, Sierra. Third, Gabriella. Fourth, Jessica. And fifth, Karine. So Kareen in fifth place looks incredible. I love her conditioning. The detail in her quads is show-stopping. Really eye-catching, so much to see. She looks super lean, super tight, super little petite, just awesome, beautiful bikini figure. Um, I think I, you notice her calf muscle popping out. You really notice this quad. You notice the groove in her hip. Her glute has a nice shape. Great oblique. Like, man, her conditioning is on fire. I think she's got a really nice hourglass shape, though I feel like from a posing perspective, if she could just get this shoulder a little further back, the arm could fall without being so close to the glute. And then the hourglass would be even more and there wouldn't be anything in my way of those beautiful curves. Uh, I love her suit, love her makeup and her hair. I think her earrings maybe are a tad bit long just for my taste. I think they could be above the clavicle, but man, she looks gorgeous. And I actually like how close she has her feet together. I think she looks very compact, very petite and little and like a lean, mean bikini machine. I think she's just awesome. Okay, next and fourth is Jessica. Gorgeous. Wow, her legs are so long and lean. She's not super tall, but her legs just look like they go forever. Um, beautiful posing. I think she looks just gorgeous. She also has some really nice definition. I like the detail in her hip, the groove coming down, outlining her quads, really nice curve here. Um, I love her shoulders. I think she's got some beautiful size to her delts, but I do think she needs a little bit more curve and muscle mass in her arms. I think she could have a bit more just to, to really balance out the curves of the bottom with the curves up top. Uh, a nice small waist and a nice hourglass shape, though I do also feel like from conditioning, she could try to get even more of her abs to show. Like just the littlest hint of a six pack starting to come in would be amazing. But um, I think overall she looks really beautiful and I'm really drawn to those gorgeous legs. So and a gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful top four for her. Okay, next in third place, Gabriella. We're seeing her again. She's just doing amazing. I love seeing her in the top five. I think her shape is incredible. Her hourglass is so fabulous. It's exaggerated. It's over the top. It is unreal. And man, do you ever notice her on the stage in the lineup? She's just insane. And it's those crazy wide lats, the giant delts, this tiny waist, so small, and then a gorgeously large round full glute. I just love it. I think her shape is incredible. She's got beautiful abs, really flat, the tiniest bit of a six pack you can kind of see. You've got the oblique, You've got great definition. I think this is the best conditioning we've had of all three shows. You really see the detail in her calf, in this back quad here you're seeing, some lines. You, you don't get that at the other shows. Um, yeah, I, I really like her midsection. I really like this delt. And I just love her hourglass shape. Man, she looks beautiful. And she's one of these beautiful unicorn ladies that can part her hair in any direction. And it looks beautiful. Side part, middle part, curly, straight. Oh, it, it, just gorgeous. I think she is fantastic. I love seeing her. And it's a beautiful third place. 
All right, Sierra in second, another athlete who I just love seeing in the top five. Uh, she is just she's just doing so well, show to show, making improvements, getting better every time. I also saw a video on her Instagram of her routine and her posing. She is flawless. You can tell she practices a lot. Her presentation is just so precise. It's beautiful. Um, I I really love her conditioning as well. I love the oblique. I love the detail in her legs. Like, man, all of this, the line, the deep groove coming down by her kneecap, her calf, the back quad, her abs are so flat. Just beautiful conditioning. And I love the size in her upper body. Her back shoulder is awesome. I really love how she's able to make this shoulder look so good. Oftentimes the shoulder gets lost on the competitors and it's all about the front shoulder, but Sierra has such a beautiful upper body, great lats, just great development up top, nice curves in her arms. Fantastic. Um, I do feel like her legs have a lot more of a straightness than the curve in her upper body. So as time goes by, I would love to continue to see these quads have more of a rounded shape. But man, that's going to take a lot of work in the off season, and she's just competing back to back. So I think she's doing fantastic. Clearly, the judges love her, and she just looks amazing. And I have to say, I'm loving her hair. It's more voluminous, more curl, more, uh, just more pizzazz, and it's amazing. All right, now Ellie in first place looks gorgeous. It's the balance that really makes her stand out. So she's got curves in her shoulder, curves in her arms. Her lats are beautiful, and the hourglass is just a gorgeous S shape. Then she's got the curve to the glute, the curve to the hamstring, curve in her quads. Even in the definition, it's highlighting the curve in her legs. So I think that's what I really notice about Ellie is just she's got all of these beautiful lines that you want to look at and you can't pull your eye away from her. Gorgeous conditioning to show off the muscle. I love this little dip in her oblique here. You're really noticing the development. Her abs are so flat. Her hourglass is so highlighted. Man, beautiful proportions. Her top is gorgeously balanced with her lower. Her arms are balanced with her lats. Her glutes are balanced with her quads. Like she's just really beautifully proportioned, beautiful balance, beautiful posing. So she's showing off enough of the front of her body to give us a great look at her abs. Her shoulders are open. Her chest is up. The hourglass is prominent. Like, could she be any more perfect? And her suit is beautiful. I, I believe she switched it to like a baby blue color and it is so pretty with her skin. She looks rich and, and just fabulous. So, man, a gorgeous first place. Okay, the lineup. Are you kidding me with this? Everybody looks amazing. But I have to say, honestly, I'm drawn to Ellie, Gabriella, and Sierra in particular. Don't get me wrong. Corrine looks absolutely stunning with her conditioning. And Jessica with those beautiful legs, her great posing. But there's something about Gabriella's hourglass shape. The beautiful curve to the top of her glute really catches my eye. Sierra, I can't help but notice her upper body. Her shoulders are so beautifully curved. Her posing is amazing. Her lats are unlike anybody else on the whole stage. And then Ellie, her details. The line goes right like it's like her obliques turn into her quads and the line just goes right down to her ankle. <laughs> the conditioning is beautiful. Her posing is beautiful. Ugh. Oh great hourglass. What a gorgeous top five. Uh, maybe you can see what I mean about Jessica could have a little bit more curve to her arms just compared to the athletes on either side of her. Uh, Kareen, I think, looks really good, but just a little bit more of a twist to face the front. Wow. Okay, and now from behind, wow, wow. Everybody looks amazing, and I'm really really taken aback by the detail in the conditioning of the hamstrings. You're seeing a lot of hamstring on these girls. Look at Kareen. Gorgeous outline. 
Uh, look at Sierra. Her glute ham tie-ins right down to the hamstrings are crazy detailed. Jessica has a gorgeous sweep of her quads from behind with really nice shape in her hamstrings. Ellie's hamstrings are super defined. And Jessica as well, really nice tie-ins, gorgeous shape to the side of her glutes. But this was really fabulous conditioning from behind. I really like it. Um, I'm loving the size in Gabriella's glutes. I'm loving the sweep on Jessica. I'm loving the, the sweep on Sierra as well. I think Ellie has a fantastic hourglass. You really notice the muscle in her back up here by her shoulders. Like, wow, everybody looks really incredible. I, I, I just can't get over the detail. I think the conditioning looks awesome. Love this for bikini. Okay, so in terms of Olympia, Ellie was already qualified. Sierra was already qualified. Gabriella's doing amazing, up to eight points. Jessica has two, and Kareen has one. So don't forget, I've got four more recaps from the weekend coming, and this weekend is busy as well. Dallas, Monsters in Puerto Rico, and the Patriots Challenge. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss those recaps. Give me a like if you liked my video and this beautiful top five bikini. And come find me. I'm at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and, of course, on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.